Hi everybody, how is everybody doing? I'm doing well. I'm here to present to you guys and share with you guys what I've been doing off camera, well on camera, sorry, but what I mean to say is off camera. I've been practicing a lot in my sketchbook and whatever piece of paper that I find with my faces. If you've been with me for a while you know that I've struggled for years doing these faces and, and this girl I can say that I'm really happy but as always as I say I record everything my mess ups everything everything so stay with me and you'll see what she looked like before now before before this before you see this she went through lots and lots of stages these pieces of wood that you see here um, they're about you know what, I want to say about 30 years old. My dad had them before I was even born. And I found them in a stash in really bad condition. And then I've had them myself for a good 10 years myself. I knew one day I would use them, just never knew that I was going to use them here like this. I'm glad I kept them. My father has passed. So I put them through good use. And we're creating the girl that you've seen. But you're going to see, you can even tell from here, how many times I've changed her. And it's just a struggle in my own artistic mind of where I wanted her to go. I thought she was fine and then I would change her up. And You know what I can say though is I did not erase. But I did use lots of paint to cover up things that I didn't like. And I accidentally gave her a mustache. Is that what you called that down there? A beard? A beard. Yeah, I gave her a beard on accident. Did you guys see that? Rewind it if you didn't see it. She's got a beard. Doesn't matter. I left it there and we worked around it. I don't know what happened to the clip where I used for her eyes. Well, you can see a little bit here. Her eyes, I used a regular Bic pin that came in purple. I just went for it. It was there. I thought it was black. Ended up being purple, but I still stuck with it. And instead of erasing, I just worked around and used a lot of paint, used a lot of pin. It became thicker and thicker. But I, I, I allowed myself to. And here I'm using the Molotow, Molotow or Molotow. Whoops, look at that accident. I didn't shake up my, pin, my paint. And uh, that's okay. We still work around it. I'll be zooming out in a second. And right there I'm using chalk pastels. I'm not even sure what they're called. I don't have the packaging anymore or the lid that says what they are. But I've been seeing a lot of pan pastels. I think they're called. Or soft pastels that people use with gesso. And they smear it out with their hands. I've really been having an itch to use something like that, and this was the closest I could find, and it did satisfy my want. And the pack I have only used, has like primary colors, so I did whatever I could with it. And here we go again with the Molotow um, in sepia. I love these things. They're workable for one second. Like a few seconds, you can probably smear them out. I really, really want the Posca pins, Posca pins, Posca pins. Don't have any. Really want to play with those two, uh, along with playing with these soft pastels. Not oil pastels, soft pastels. Um, she went through a lot of shading, a lot of painting, and I did come here to YouTube to share with you guys my mistakes and and working through it and in the eyes I got my gold pin and did a really messy job with it in the eyeballs but I worked around it and every little bit I keep rubbing my excess paint into the hair just because that's what I do I either rub it into my art piece or I put it in my um, drop paper but on this one I chose to put it into the hair just because it'll probably add something in the end and it sure did 
But if you realize and take a good look, in the beginning you guys can see that her hair looked nothing like this. Matter of fact, the color wasn't even like this. As a matter of fact, there was not even supposed to be a face here. It was only supposed to be uh, four flowers on this um, piece of wood. But the face appeared, so I went with it. And that's the stems that you see on the side that looks like a tail. They're not tails, they're going to become flowers. Preform flowers, as a matter of fact. Sorry for the volume went up on this on that little part there. And I just keep playing and shadowing and messing and playing and let the letting the paint drag and not waiting for paint to dry and being okay with it. Totally being okay with it because oh, you see it's even going into the hair and I'm okay with that. Putting browns, just playing, lots and lots of playing. And I'm using right there some of those um, Carnash water-soluble crayons. That's what you see there. And to me that was a little too yellow, but it still made me happy. And I still knew that I can still play with it. And the nose disappeared and you know what? We went in and put another nose in. Now, if you watch videos from before, I didn't even know how to do a nose or lips or eyebrows. And I do like my eyebrows to be very shaggy and thick, just like mine. And then here we go with the hair. What color is that? I, I'm pretty sure it's like a gray. Then I'm grabbing extra paints that I have on the side in like a taupey brown color some more grays some whites I'll let you guys watch to be honest with you her hair didn't look bad at all you'll, you'll see that This is where the flowers started happening on accident. They're very I loosely had paint on my brush and I just loosely played and put some flowers in very organically as I do everything else. Just like the face it wasn't supposed to be the face. It was just supposed to be a bunch of flowers on a piece of wood. And organically the girl appeared. And these flowers also. And so wherever I have, when I have paint left over on my brush, I throw it wherever I possibly can. I think this green even goes a little bit in the eyes. My brush was a little too wet and I was okay with that because I kind of, I did love the way that the flowers ended up being. And I have gesso and I threw some gesso in there just to soften and blend a little bit. Then you start, I just started realizing that these flowers ended up looking like her hair. And her hair ended up looking like the flowers. And I could have left it like that. Really could have. But I slept on it and I would come back. This, this project was days long. I think it lasted me about... Uh, about 10 days of coming back and forth and back and forth. It went into my birthday, March 6th, and ended up being my birthday gift to myself because I ended up really proud of her. Really, really did. Love her. I think I can say that she is my favorite piece now. And then I have a really thin brush and I made some wispies and gave her some highlight. Whatever I could, wherever I could put the white, I would put the white in her eyes and um, gave her some pupils, put it under her eyebrow, her chest, 
her collarbone in the hair and um, let's see oh I ended up doing like this rainbow effect in her in her eye that I really like uh, why did I put her there why did I put that mm -hmm. rainbow around her eye well it just felt right just like everything else very organically I liked it so much that I even put made it even more stronger in her eye then I'm just outlining around her eyes because that's what I do when I have um, a special place to go and I put makeup on I will highlight my eyes in the corners and underneath above my chin and on my nose sometimes depending on the clothing I even highlight my collarbone shoulders I think the nose disappeared again and we went in again and put a nose which I think on this particular part the nose was too big we'll see I don't kind of don't remember give her some smile lines I even threw this is just a regular pencil from artist loft I even put lines in her hair And then my uniball, putting lines everywhere I possibly can. That I think that's a green that I really like and some white. Yes, that's the green that I really like using. I'm just creating some freeform leaves. Uh, when I look at these flowers now, they remind me of flowers from plates that I've seen from my parents' homeland, uh, Costa Rica. They're very Spanish folk art kind of flowers. Which, now that I'm talking about it and realizing that it makes sense. These um, planks of wood were my father's and he did go and pass away in his country makes sense that these flowers came onto this plank of wood now, now that I'm talking about it. Hmm. I'm giving it some stems, giving the flowers stems. And then I noticed that she didn't have the line, um, the definition to make the arms. So I put some black in there and put some black in the hair. And you know how I do when I have extra paint. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a second. The surprise will come in a little bit. But here is where I started putting clothing and trying to figure out what clothing to put on her. I was okay with this um, tank top that I put on her, really was. I went to sleep and I woke up in the morning and I had another idea. And then I put a jewel. I like wearing jewels, Mindy's, on my, on myself, on my, on my forehead. So I decided to put one on her. And this is where I started thinking. Well, this is the same day, actually. The same day as I put the yellow on. I was going to give her like leaves. And the idea came from Mark Muir and the Junkin' Data Girl. I, it was nice. It really was. It complemented the flowers. It complemented her Mindy. Um, but like I said, I went to bed. I got up. And I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. It wasn't making me happy. This is still the same day. I'll let you know when it's the next day. Oh, okay. Here's the next day. <laughs>
I wasn't feeling it and I wanted long sleeves so I gave her long sleeves and one of my favorite shirts to wear and I thought oh and there we go with the hair I totally totally gave her a haircut yep I gave her like a pixie bob so back to the shirt I have my favorite shirt which is probably time to toss it out it's pretty torn up but it's my favorite shirt and it has it's all white with black stripes and I thought to myself let's do that I have never done stripes on any art piece so let's do that here it, the shirt makes me happy so it should make me happy here and I did the stripes and it leaked a little and it smudged a little but I'm okay with that we fix it up with some white paint and you see in the beginning of the video it, it came out fine and these stripes drove me insane in a good way it, they made me happy it gave the pop to the canvas that I really wanted the wow I never thought stripes would go and I really didn't think they were going to go but it, at the moment it, they made me happy even thinking about it so I said let's do it and then I striped up the stems of the flowers and I really like that too so it became a folk art whimsical girl with things that I love stripes, mindies I like the pixie bob in the hair polka dots, you know how I feel about polka dots and then I got um, napkins and I cut out some butterflies from the napkins and decoupaged those, nap those butterflies down and added polka dots around the butterflies to make them more whimsical and more mine and totally enjoyed that, really really did. I might come back and slow this part down. We'll see right now. As a matter of fact, I can make a second video with this whole thing slowed down even more. But I can't promise that I'll come back with another voiceover for the one that's slowed down. Um, that one would probably be music. And if that's something you're interested in, I can do that. This video is normally a two hour video. Right now I have it down to 18 minutes and 47 seconds just so that you can get the gist of it. But I can slow it down if you would like. Just leave me a comment and I will make sure I do that. I'm here to express my thoughts and share with you guys and inspire you guys and I'm here because of you guys and because of wanting to share with you guys. So if you like this video and you like the voiceovers and you like all of this stuff, please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and I have plenty of videos coming. Thank you guys for supporting. Hello to all my new subscribers and old subscribers. You guys have a very creative day. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.